Welcome to the channel Codes Up. In this tutorial, we will learn what is singleton design pattern in Java and in how many ways we can create singleton design pattern in Java. And also after that, we will learn what is the best practice to implement singleton design pattern in Java. So if you uh, don't know uh, about singleton design pattern, the first of all, it is very important to know singleton design pattern is a creational design pattern and we can use single data design pattern when we want to share common data across multiple classes for example we can understand it like this sometimes we need to have only one instance of our class for example a single db connection is shared by multiple objects as creating a as creating a separate db connection for every object may be costly similarly there can be a single configuration manager and single error manager in the application so all these problems can be handled easily by creating single instance of these classes so this is the main uses and uh, uses of singleton design pattern now next question is what are the examples so if you want to uh, look for an example then a very common and best example is java.lang.runtime class because there is a single runtime environment right and that runtime environment is accessed across across the java application so this is the best example now next is the uh, in how many ways we can create a singleton design uh, singleton object so for this let's jump to the next slide so there are four possible ways to create a singleton object and we will discuss these all, all the all these four one by one so first one is the eager singleton instance approach so let's jump to the id and try to implement this so first is the eager singleton pattern with the eager singleton instance approach so we will give it name as eager singleton design or eager sing eager singleton pattern so in this the first thing that we need to do is create a private constructor so that no class can extend our class this is eager singleton pattern so this is the constructor this is our step one and then next step is the since we are using eager, uh, eager singleton pattern approach so in this approach basically a, a instance of this class uh, will be created during the class loading time so we will create instance at class loading time eager singleton pattern then give it name as an instance and new new eager, eager singleton pattern so during class loading an object of eager singleton pattern class will be created so we simply uh, say that we would uh, uh, we would have the eager singleton pattern class object when the class loading operation is finished so this is our step two and now this step three so step three will be the getting the instance so for that we will declare a static method and this static method simply return the instance of eager singleton pattern class get instance and simply return instance so every time this method is called it will simply return the eager singleton pattern class object so this is the implementation of singleton pattern by using the eager singleton approach so let's test it by declaring a main method and first we will create the first object new eager singleton pattern and we will create another object oh sorry we will not create a new because we are creating the singleton approach we are simply get the instance by class name eager singleton dot get instance eager singleton pattern dot get instance so let's print the hash code of first object first object has code is so hash code of first object and second object should be the same because we are implementing the singleton pattern so both object should be the should be equal and same and then second object and then one more we need to check for their equality first object and 
second object are equal so we'll simply print first object dot equals second object so let's format this and run so that we can check whether the hash code of both the objects are same or not okay so we need to print dot hash code method we need to hash code so that we will get the hash code of the method so let's run it so now we can uh, see that the hash code of first object and second object are same and equals operation also return true so it simply means both the objects are same as singleton means we are getting the same instance every time so this is the eager singleton approach now this approach has disadvantages because we should not recommend this approach as instance is created at class loading time so sometime we are not require the uh, object and we require it for, for the later so instead of loading uh, creating the object at class loading time it will be good idea if we get the object whenever we needed it so whenever we, we need the object then only we need to create it first time so that's why this eager singleton approach is not best so let's jump to the second approach that is lazy singleton instance approach so here we will create a, another class with name lazy singleton approach so, so sorry here it is created as a simple file so we need to delete it and we need to create another lazy singleton pattern so so in eager singleton pattern we have uh, seen what is the disadvantage of that approach that is that is we are uh, creating the object at class loading time and we whether we uh, need it at that time or not so let's uh, not create that object during the class loading time but instead of that we will create a singleton object when uh, when the, we need it first time so for that first very first thing we need to step one is the same that is we need to create a constructor with private access modifier and then step two so for step two we will declare private static lazy instance so initially we will declare it as a initialize it as a null and then in step three public static lazy singleton is pattern get instance and inside this first thing we will add it as null check if object dot is null if the instance is null then only we will create it we will create the object new lazy singleton pattern otherwise we directly return already created instance so this is step three so here you can clearly uh, see that whenever the get instance method is will be uh, will call will be called by any of the method then first we are checking uh, whether the instance is null or not if the instance is null then only we are creating it so it means uh, the instance will be created on demand and once it is created then we are directly returning the already uh, created object so let's test it again and for testing it we are copying the code from our earlier created class and instead of eager here lazy singleton pattern and lazy singleton pattern so let's format it and test it so here you can uh, clearly uh, see that here also let's run it again uh, here you can clearly uh, see that the hash code of object 1 and object 2 are here uh, are also same and equal operation also or equal method also returns true for their equality so it means simply a single instance is returned every time and object 2 and objects object 2 and object or first objects are equal objects so this is the lazy singleton approach 
but this approach also uh, has disadvantages so now just think what is the disadvantage of this approach so in a multi threaded environment this uh, approach uh, will not work so so to avoid because uh, race condition comes into the picture suppose uh, two threads simultaneously enter into the enters into the this method so both are checking for object dot is null instance simultaneously and both will create object when uh, flow comes to the uh, this line when, when flow reaches to the this line so it breaks the singleton pattern because singleton pattern means only one instance can uh, will be created but here when two threads are accessing this method simultaneously then two objects are uh, uh, will be uh, two objects are getting created so this is uh, this leads to a race condition so to avoid race condition uh, we need to add synchronized keyword here so after adding synchronized keyword we are we will uh, we, we are trying to avoid the race condition but still uh, there is one more accurate and optimized approach of double checking and by that approach we can say that when two threads access the method simultaneously then it will not break our singleton pattern so what is that approach so that approach is we need to add a synchronized block in uh, here as well and we need to move this code inside synchronized block and ne also need to add one extra condition uh, one extra null uh, null check condition so basically we will add two new con uh, two null con uh, checks so basically that is double checking so let's implement the double checking singleton approach so go to the java and uh, go to the id and create new class as double checking singleton so in this approach first we need to create constructor and then private static double checking singleton instance as null and then public synchronized static double checking singleton type object is the return type and get instance then if objects dot is null instance then we need to add synchronized block and in synchronized block we need to mention what type which is and this is the class name and inside this we need to add one more null check and that is objects dot is null instance and then instance equal to new double checking singleton and if this condition is fail then we simply return instance so basically uh, by this we can uh, say that in multi threaded environment this will work and there is no issue occurs if multiple threads are accessing this method simultaneously so let's create a main method to test this let's create a main method to test this double checking singleton double checking singleton first object get instance double checking sing double checking singleton second obj double checking singleton dot obj dot get instance so this is object one and let's print as code of first object as code of second object dot has code and object one and object two are equal so for this we simply dot equal tc second object so let's format it and run it so again here we can clearly see that the hash code of object one and object two are equal and both the objects are when we are comparing both the object by uh, using equals method then uh, operation returns true so it means single instance is there and 
that instance will be used across the program or application but this is approach three if uh, if you are not want to enhance it further then this approach will be the best and many times in interview when interviewer ask you this question then they can they expect this approach because it is the one of the best approach but still there is a room for improvement and that can be fulfilled by using the singleton pattern uh, using lazy inner class approach so that is lazy inner class approach so what is this let's implement singleton pattern by using this approach lazy inner singleton so again in this approach first two steps are the same lazy inner singleton by private constructor and second is creating the instance but now since we are implementing the singleton uh, by using the lazy inner class uh, by using the uh, inner class so here we uh, will make uh, we can make use of inner class approach so for this since we are making use of uh, inner class so step two will be to create instance by using inner class private static class so copy class private static class singleton pattern helper and in this class we simply private static lazy inner singleton instance new lazy singleton inner singleton and then by creating get instance method we can return this singleton helper dot instance and with the help of main method we can test it first object singleton here we need to change the name and another object is the as code of as code of first object is first and has code of has code of second object is second right and also we will perform the equal operation first and second object are equal so for that we will make use of first dot equal second and let's run it and check whether the same has code is returned or not okay again here we have we have made mistake we need to print has code and let's run it so here you can clearly see that the has code of first object and second object are same and also equal operation returns true so this is the best approach by making use of inner class so out of all these four approaches we can say that the lazy inner class approach is the best approach so when interviewer ask you uh, ask you this question uh, this question then uh, it it is very good if you uh, it will be good if if you answer singleton design pattern with all these four approaches and and you can uh, simply uh, say that the lazy inner class approach is the best because object not will because in this approach object will not be created till the time get instance is called so when the get instance is called first time then singleton pattern helper class comes into the picture and in this when we are accessing sync dot instance then only it, it is created so the, that's why this approach is the best approach so that's all for this tutorial hope you guys like this tutorial and able to understand singleton design pattern please like and please like and share this video and also do subscribe to our channel so that you cannot miss any further updates from Corsa. thanks for watching guys